What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to bring you guys some Dead Rising news for the Capcom fans out there who are fans of this frantic zombie action game. Now Dead Rising 3 was an Xbox One exclusive and now it appears that Dead Rising 4 is on the way. Here are some leaked images of the game. You guys tell me what you think. I'll drop a link in the description. Dead Rising 4 poster and gameplay images leaked. Might be a remake of Dead Rising 1. Two days ago, we reported that Dead Rising 4 is in development at Capcom Vancouver and may or may not have been an exclusivity deal and that Dead Rising 4 will indeed feature at this year's E3 and will quote make fans of the series happy end quote. Today we can update that with images that were sent to us that might give us our first look at Dead Rising 4. Now looking at the images, they're kind of blurry, you can tell they were taken of a screen they weren't actually captured using you know a capture device uh, so there's really not much that you can say it does look clean uh, of course this is just a picture here but uh, the gameplay that you can see you can see this character wearing what appears to be a jean jacket outfit background is you know kind of blurry it's really hard to see so I don't know what to expect Dead Rising 3 was released in 2013 as an Xbox One exclusive as well as a launch title. It was said to have sold very well, and Dead Rising 4 was talked about not long after the release. It's also likely that Capcom Vancouver is ditching the engine they built in favor of a partnership with Epic Games, meaning that the studio will be working exclusively with Unreal Engine 4 from here on out. The game is rumored to be a complete remake of the first game with co-op added as well as online functionalities. Fans of the franchise might also recognize Frank West in the first image, lending itself to the veracity of these images. Okay, so guys, you tell me what you think. Is that Frank West? It does kind of look like him. It looks like he might be older though. I don't know if this is a remake per se. I think he may be a little bit older. Uh, a lot of these developers are kind of moving forward, aging characters, kind of kind of giving real life to the story, you know, so that the past games actually have meaning. Now, as far as the exclusivity deal, I don't think that Capcom is as dumb as that to actually do an exclusivity deal, at least with Xbox. Now, there's a lot more Xbox Ones out now than there were when Dead Rising 3 was released, but the honest to truth numbers are that Dead Rising 3 to this date has only sold one and a half million units. So it sold 1.53 million units total, 1.6 million in North America, 340,000 in Europe, 100,000 in Japan, and 120,000 in the rest of the world, giving it a global total of 1.53 million. I'm sure that Capcom will want one of their exclusive games to get more than that in three years. So if they're smart, this is gonna be a multi-platform game. I don't think it's wise for them to pick one side once again. I don't think it's smart for them to pick Sony or Microsoft. I think they need to release it and get it out there to as many gamers as possible. There's lots of people out there who've never played a Dead Rising game, believe it or not. And there's plenty of people who own PS4s who may have really enjoyed Dead Rising 3. Now, I own them all, so, you know, whatever happens, happens. But I think if Capcom wants to be smart about this deal, that they're definitely going to uh, release this on multiple consoles and PC. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Are you Dead Rising fans? Are you hyped for Dead Rising? And let me know if you think Capcom has the cojones to release this as a console exclusive. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the Beastly Gamer channel, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.